Good morning everyone, Dr. Grace here for Facial Plastics Friday and today, uh, busy day we have clinic and then I'm heading out uh, to the airport to Washington DC because it is the examination weekend for the American Board of Facial Plastic and Reconstructive Surgery and so I'll be there with some of my colleagues as an examiner making sure that the next crop of facial plastic surgeons knows their stuff. But before I do that, I wanted to talk today about a topic that I don't think gets enough attention and that's rhinophyma. Rhinophyma is that disease of the nose where the, the uh, oil glands and sebaceous glands of the nose get very, very large, get hypertrophied, get full of oil, get knobbly, and the nose gets really, really big. Sometimes referred to as a drinker's nose or alcoholic's nose, and it's really a misnomer because this is a form of acne rosacea, type three rosacea, where the inflammatory processes really affect the nasal skin and the nasal glands. And so, uh, there are ways to treat this, which is why I think it's really not addressed very much. A lot of people walk around with these great big kind of deformed uh, noses from this disease, and uh, that can really affect your nasal breathing. If you have a big mass on your nose and you pull your nose down for the weight of that, it affects your breathing because of the gravitational pull. And it's actually a pretty simple procedure to correct. And so what I use is a bunch of different modalities you can use, but what I use here at Well Facial Plastics is a CO2 laser. And then it's almost like sculpting. Using the laser, I will sculpt away, I will shave away all of that diseased hypertrophy tissue and recontour the nose so that it has a normal shape. And so I'm gonna show some examples here of what can uh, be done with a CO2 laser. This is three months after the procedure. And you can see this um, lovely 69 year old lady here uh, has this unfortunate uh, process going on in her nose of rhinophyma. It's causing some obstruction, it's causing some um, you know, aesthetic concerns for sure. And three months later, after CO2 laser reshaping of her nose, you can see that she has her normal nasal appearance restored. Now this is a chronic disease, so it may require ongoing treatments with topical uh, uh, creams like uh, retinols. It may require pulse dye lasers to help keep that inflammatory process at bay. But really overall, the CO2 laser procedure is corrective of the bulk of the disease and then you're into maintenance phase and you can avoid this recurring. So if you or you know somebody uh, who does have uh, rhinophyma as a part of their rosacea and they're looking for treatment, that is something that we offer here at Guelph Facial Plastics. Otherwise, everybody have a happy Canada Day weekend and we'll see you next week.